Chinese police stations in Canada, Chinese government contracts. What on earth is going on right now? And to people outside of Canada, please leave a comment on this video because you, <laughs> I, I can understand that you are just going to be mind blown by what I'm going to tell you here but to a lot of people in Canada we're used to this absolute just, just unbelievable things that are happening in our country here so let's take a look at it so first of all I want to go over this just real quick which is just insane I made a short on it RCMP sus suspends contract awarded to company with ties to the Chinese communist government the RCMP has suspended a controversial contact contract it had awarded to a Canadian company who, who, whose parent organization has ties to the Chinese government. Public Safety Minister Marco Mendicino's office told CTV News on Thursday that the contract the RCMP inked in October 2021 worth $550,000 with Ontario-based Sinclair Technologies for radio frequency filters is now on pause. Earlier in the day, Mendocino told reporters that the RCMP was looking very carefully at the equipment that was installed and going forward, there is more rigorous screening when contracts are awarded that may have national security implications. Now, we're obviously reading this straight from the Ministry of Propaganda here on CTV, and it's very interesting that they've already admitted that these things were already installed here in Canada. And they admit further on that there's national security concerns. And it's just mind-blowing that these things are allowed to happen and then they are brought to light after the fact. So it's already installed $550,000 of my money, of your money. It's our taxpayer money that they are wasting and spending constantly. And it's literally going... It, this company literally has ties with the Chinese communist government. I mean, it's absolutely mind-blowing. And then the, the cherry on the top of the cake is the Chinese police stations, which is really being suppressed here in Canada. And actually, I've got an article from The Guardian, which is a UK, from uh, where I'm from, UK media organization. So... Obviously, there, if there were any concerns or if there were any flaws in this process around the contract, then there should be very quick and immediate steps taken to suspend or cancel the contract altogether, he said. After this contract came to light, the RCMP said the National Police Force's radio communications were protected with end-to-end -end encryption and that radio frequency filtration equipment poses no security concerns nor does it allow access to radio communications. Okay, so the contract was awarded in accordance with the federal government procurement, procure, procurement policies and regulations. Can't get my words out. In accordance with the trade agreements, the RCMP said on Wednesday. So at least we know that these processes that they have are just garbage because we've got this that has happened. In a previous statement to CTV News, Sinclair said it is a trusted and independent company. It cited privacy reasons for being unable to comment further. This That kind of reeks of the CCP because they often don't comment on different things. CTV News has found a number of other contracts worth upwards of $90,000 each since Sinclair's parent company, Norsat, was bought in 2017 by Hytera which is partially owned by the Chinese government. The contract included those with the RCMP, Fisheries and Oceans Canada, and the Department of National Defense. It's absolutely insane when you think about what is going on here and how the Chinese government is involved with things that literally revolve around naturally i mean it's mind-blowing it's absolutely mind-blowing and if you haven't seen that short i did it i i recommend you watch it um but i want to show you this because this is just insane i mean it's even caught the media's attention in the uk the guardian here so 
a brazen intrusion. Chinese China's foreign police stations raise hackles in Canada. Wow. I mean, isn't it just insane that they were even allowed to operate and they've uncovered like there was one that they uncovered first in Toronto and now they've uncovered a few more across the country. And you just got to think how mind blowing it is that they are operating here in Canada and we have no idea how many different Chinese police stations are there, the operations and what they're really up to. I mean, it is absolutely maddening when you think about it. And I just think that it has been held back so much, this story. Um, it hasn't been widely publicized, and it should be, because it's an absolute national security concern. It is an absolute huge story that the media should be running with. But the reality is, here in Canada, the media is funded by the government. So when the media is funded by the government, you have again one of these conflicts of interest where as they are going to try and protect the government um, and try and act like they're also impartial as well when they're not. So it, it's kind of they're trying to do two jobs which they just can't do. And the reality is that Chinese police stations in Canada are just an absolutely massive scandal. This should be all over the news, but it's not. And it and for us, it's probably frustrating us right now that the story hasn't been so widely publicized. And it was a couple of months ago, I believe, when they found the first one. And now they found a couple more across different places in Canada. So they're everywhere. And what are they doing? And, you know, there are a lot of Chinese people that have moved to Canada. If you look at the immigration statistics, China is one of the biggest places that Canada receives immigrants with from, sorry, along with India. Those are the two largest places that Canada gets immigrants from. So you have to sort of ask the question, well, are some of these immigrants compromised in some sort of way? And what checks are the government putting in place to protect us from that? And the reality is there's not many checks that they can do. Because as somebody who's been through the immigration process, sure, they can run your fingerprints through the Interpol database and everything like that. But if you're somehow linked to the Chinese government, it's not going to throw up any sort of warning like that. It might not even be obvious. People in China might not even know that you work for the Chinese government. So I think it's almost it, I, I think this this story is concerning and everybody should be thinking about what this means. And especially people in the US are there are also Chinese police stations down there as well. It has to be said and investigated. And with regards to this other story here. It's actually interesting because when you look at it, it says somewhere here that basically the US they actually, yeah, here it is right here. I didn't highlight it. But Hytera's products are banned from being sold or imported in the United States over national security concerns. So there you go again. Just how, how are we letting them in when the United States isn't? So it just has to be said that this is absolutely crazy and uh, we really have to think about the long term implications of what's going on and how other other how many other contracts can't get my words out today are also on the government's books that have the Chinese government involved with with them. We already know that Justin Trudeau loves the Chinese government. He has said about his admiration for them before it's been recorded. I think I've even played it on this channel. So anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, you might like that one there. You might also like that one there. Please sign up to my free email list if you haven't already, just so that we can stay in touch. 